Hey guys, today I will be reviewing a very well-known and formerly well-known cube. And this is the Diane 2. It was formerly known as the Tyan. I just recently gave one of these away and I feel like reviewing it because of how good it is. I have no doubt about its amazingness and I really admire this cube. So yeah, let's get right into the review. Now this puzzle is very nice. The first impression you have on it is that it has very, very parted pieces. As you can see, they are very parted over here, over here, over here, over here. So that's the first impression you have on it. Another first impression you have on it is it's really, really heavy. A nickname of this cube is called the Big Goose. Yeah, it's just, it's really heavy, really parted pieces, and let's get into its turning. This cube is really fast. Um, amazingly fast, I would say. It has a very nice crispy feel to it. And I think this is a really nice feel, and it just reminds me of a very reliable, very bulky cube. So really like this cube, it's really fast, and it's just what you should expect from Diane. Now, if we look at the insides of this puzzle, the edge piece is very, very weird. Um, not weird, I would say, because it's just really special. As you can see, there's a very small inner track on it, which gives it its crispiness and reduces friction and makes that part on the puzzle and as you can see the stock is like this grabs hold to the center piece I would say they should have extended it to because it still pops sometimes but that's just the edge piece and the corner piece is very special too it's regular corner piece but the stock is very abnormal it has a little ball in there for no reason reason actually I do not know and just a very special and unique design. Now as you can see in here, there's a white core. It used to be made with a Rubik's Band core, but Diane recently switched to a white core on all their puzzles, which made them faster. And um, as you can see, and over here, as you can see, is tracks. So. That's the inside of this puzzle. I would say it's not as weird as a Shen Xiao 3x3, but it is pretty unique in its own way. Now, the cutting on this is really good, as you can see. Here's line to line. Effortless, effortless, effortless. And then, 45 degrees. It is able to do that, as you can see, but you have to make a swift move. Well, I guess it just never works on camera. But, you can trust me that it's um, very good at cutting. And, if you have it on the right tension, it will be a perfect cube. The locking on this puzzle, I don't get it a lot. And, I really have to say that... It doesn't happen a lot because they are so parted from each other. And the popping is um, not that big of a problem because the edge pieces actually hold on to the centerpiece pretty nice. So, yeah. This puzzle cuts very well. Locks never because of how parted away from them each other they are and the popping does not really happen but if you really turn massively heavy and rough then it'll pop for sure but otherwise this cube is really nice now this cube overall is a very very good cube and it's very fast turning and uh 
feel to it is very nice. It's a very bulky cube, which I think the bulkiness and heaviness makes me feel like this cube is very reliable and just like really strong. I mean, when you rely on a really strong person over a really weak person, so yeah, this is really bulky. I would say very strong, pretty heavy, and the cutting is really good. The locking never happens. Popping will happen occasionally, but it should not happen much at all. And I just think this is a very nice cube. Great to play with um, because of the heaviness. I just really like the heaviness. And yeah, you can purchase this at www.ikmart.com if you um, are persuaded and if you think you might like it. So yeah, I'll have a link in the description below on where you can buy it. And that's all for this review, guys. I'll see you in the next video.